So as far as our guessing game goes, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a random number uh, as a target for uh, us to guess. And to do that we need to import some additional information into Python to allow us to generate those random numbers. So back over in our code editor, I've got a blank file to start with here. And at the very top of my file, so I don't want to do that down in the middle of other code, I want to do it on the first line, I'm going to import random. And this will import the random library which will give us a lot of additional options. And I want to generate a random number now, so I can use uh, the keyword random which we've just imported. And this has a number of functions or methods that we can use. And to do that we need to use the full stop followed by the, the keyword itself. So in this case I'm going to use randint and then brackets. And just like before we need to put something inside those brackets and in this case it's the, uh, the range in which we want to generate our random number. So I'm going to go from 0 to 100 in this case. Now that will just generate the random number. We still haven't stored it anywhere so of course we need to add it to a variable. In this case I'm going to call the variable target. So target is going to be equal to a random number from 0 to 100. Then I will just put in print target so we can test that out, make sure it's working. And if I run that, we've got a random number, 34. I'll run it a couple of times just to see that we're getting the kinds of numbers that we'd expect. Okay, so your challenge is to go back to your guessing game code and add in this code in the appropriate places. So remember the import statement goes at the top. Uh, and you can put the other lines of code where you think they will fit uh, to generate a random number that will become a target for us to try and match. So back in my version of this guessing game, I've added this line at the top, import random, and I've added these two lines down the bottom, just like we had uh, earlier in this video. So it's going to generate a random number, and we can check how close we are to the guess. So uh, let's run it, just test it, to make sure it's working. I'll enter a guess of around 50, and you can see it prints out my target number would be around 8, so obviously the next message I want to display to the user uh, is that they are too high and they need to try again. That's going to be it for this video, nice and short one, just showing you how to import random numbers. Make sure you've got that up and running. Experiment with changing the, the range uh, and seeing what you can, can make happen within your guessing game.